Hey, hello world. Welcome everybody to the Leadership Talk channel with Kevin Schulteis. I'll introduce myself right after the break, find out who I am, why I fell in uh, love with leadership, and why I believe uh, everybody should be involved in leadership training, self-help, personal development, professional development, why that is, how that affects you, and how to become a difference maker. So join me on this journey together and we'll watch the intro and then uh, we'll get right into the, the introduction of the channel. So, hey everybody, so my name again is Kevin Schulteis and I'm just the guy and at tw age 27, uh, was blessed enough to have uh, somebody introduce me to the concept of leadership or personal development, self-help, professional development, uh, self-directed education, whatever you want to call it. But it got me onto the topic of uh, you got to think about your thinking. And as man thinketh, so is he. So your thinking dictates your actions. Your actions dictate your results and your results dictate where you are in life. So all the choices you've made up in life have gotten you the results where you're at now. So you could theoretically argue that you have chosen the life you have currently, right? And if you don't like those, you, you could argue that circumstances and nature versus nurture and stuff like that. But we all have choices with what we do with those um, situations. So you could argue you are where you're at because you wanted to be. So the good news is, is if it's your problem, it's your problem, which means you can also fix it, which is a really good thing. If you own something, then you have the ability to fix it. And these are all concepts that even at age 27, you kind of think you know, uh, but it's never discussed and it's very rarely exampled in, in your living life. And uh, I started realizing that I was always blaming the world and stuff. I'm an entrepreneur by heart, uh, started lots of businesses and crashed a lot of businesses. And when they crashed, I would almost guaranteed blame outside circumstances, blame the economy, bl blame others. This guy screwed me over. These guys were not so good. These partners were crooked or something and or the idea or the timing was wrong or what it was everybody's and every else's fault, everybody else's fault, except my own. And and even though there were times that I knew it was kind of my own issue, uh, it felt like water just running through my fingers. I, I didn't, it was vague. I didn't know what I was missing. I was a hardworking guy. And then somebody came along and introduced, say, hey, I, I'm involved in leadership and mentors. And uh, we talk all, all things business and, and uh, some of these issues that you brought up because I was whining on somebody's shoulder, I guess. Uh, and they, they, they were kind enough to introduce me to this. And, um, I checked things out and I started falling in love with the concept of, no, I can fix also a lot of the issues that are around me and I can take personal responsibility for them and therefore I can take personal responsibility to fix them as, as well and um, you know there's that saying pray as if it's up to God and work as if it's up to you right and you got to do both and uh, I'm a man of faith and and because of this journey into personal development and stuff like that I've become a better what I like to consider a better citizen of my country and a better citizen of my faith um, so that's that. And um, so I encourage everybody, uh, because of life leadership has encouraged me, I encourage everybody to uh, read, listen, and associate to people that have fruit that you want. So that means hang out with people, listen to people, read about people, um, hang out in community, and get information that actually you want to get to the life you want. Uh, to live the life you've always wanted, you have to first learn what that is, learn to equip up, and then when you learn it, you also have to do the, the, the necessary steps to get you that fruit. 
and then in time do that enough and theoretically you should get the fruit right yes a farmer can pr learn to farm plant a crop and crap happens and things don't work out but given enough time and and consistency a farmer who plants a crop properly deals with it nurtures it right should have harvest eventually and um, small harvest and then medium harvest big harvest whatever maybe some years bumper crop other years not so good but the point is is if you do the right things consistently enough you cannot be the same person that you are a year from now and i hear this from my mentor over and over and over and over and over again and every day is every time i talk to him it's the same thing be consistent uh put something in the calendar that moves you forward in your business, in your life, in your studies, in your whatever. Go from there. So everything we learn in life leadership, I'll be talking about books, you know, audios, books, and community. So I'm going to be talking about those things. I'm going to be encouraging you to purchase those things. Uh, I don't make any qualms about that. I actually expect you to invest into yourself. You are your best investment. And what you there's that amazing quote you know uh, paraphrase you know whatever you pour into your head you empty your wallet into your head and no man can steal that right so i highly encourage you to spend invest heavily into audios and books and community events so you can hang out with people that have fruit on the tree that you want learn from them do what they did to get whatever those results are and over time you will have an, an amazing life and have uh, a fruitful life so I highly encourage you to do that and uh, welcome to the journey uh, in, in life leadership and I'm going to be producing a lot of these videos that will be on different topics different book studies um, I'll probably go through um, a lot of portfolio stuff whether it's our apps whether it's whatever so it's just going to be going through a lot of different products uh, whether it's on my bookshelves um, things that I've gone through or things I am currently going through because uh, this is a self-directed education meaning it's ongoing to the day I die I am not done learning which is another concept uh, that I learned uh, after age 27 that uh, after schooling um, you shouldn't just burn your books and, and stop reading but you need to continually be reading for the fruit that you want. You want to be a better father, better f family person. Uh, you want to have a healthy marriage. You want to have healthy relationships with your parents. You want to fix relationships that are estranged. Uh, you want to have a better faith life. You want to just, uh, if you struggle with uh, different habits and hangups, um, just learning good leadership principles um, will assist in that. So. Welcome to the show, and uh, we'll stop here and uh, go check out any one of the, the other topics.